Hey guys, this is Silvio Guacamole. Um, I'm bringing you a guest upload for Doc's channel um, from phase one of Snake Draft. So we've got Pack versus Manip here, looking at team preview. Um, they're both rocking Celebi teams, which I'm really digging. Um, Celebi's in a really great spot at the moment. It breaks a lot of the fat shit we've seen running around with the EU Open, like the um, Block Slowbro Chestnut team. Which I think Shiba built just just gets bodied by just gets bodied by Celebi, um, and they're both kind of looking Celebi weak to be honest. Um, pack more so than Manip because Manip's Hydreigon can be roost, and if Manip, and if Manip's Hydreigon is roost, then Celebi is walled indefinitely. Um, he also has Florgus for wish support if it's not roost. Whereas Pack can get if Pack's Hydreigon gets worn down, Manip Celebi is going to be huge in the late game because nothing nothing eats a hit at plus two. Um, especially, well, if you get a little bit of chip on Rotom, then nothing's beating it at plus two. Uh, in terms of lead matchup, Manip can pretty safely lead off with Infernape. It clicks buttons versus <laughs> clicks buttons versus four out of six, um, and U-turns on the other two. So Pat can predict that and lead off with uh, Gligar or Empoleon if it's Protect to possibly get up rocks. Okay, so he leads with Gligar. So we're going to see almost 100% a... Um, we're going to see almost 100% a U-turn from Manip, and Gligar can either get up rocks if he has them, or knock, or U-turn, whichever one he has. Um, if he, I'm thinking rocks are more likely to be on the Empoleon and defog Gligar, but I could be wrong. Okay, he U-turns, so that means he probably doesn't have rocks. Um, he can go into Empoleon now and throw them up. Yep, that is what he's going to do. Uh, so, Manip doesn't want to stay in. Yep, he's going to go Tentacle to spin him away. This is pretty nice for Manip to be honest because he can keep rocks off pretty much indefinitely. Um, Tentacle comes in on Empoleon for free and it's kept alive forever as long as he keeps Florgis in. Um, and Florgis is getting a lot of chances to come in for free against Rotom, um, Gligar and Tarak locked into CC. Um, yeah, it's probably Bantarak looking at the team. Thinking Z, Celebi, Scarf, um, Hydreigon and Bantarak. So, Pack can pretty freely vault switch here, no madman goes, licks. Um, and Manip just has the freest Florgus of his life right now. So we're probably going to see him go back into Empoleon, uh, and throw him up again. Um, and Manip spin him away, which is which is great for Manip because in the, at the end of the day he's winning the PP Stall War. Um, in terms of matchup, I think Manip probably has the upper hand. He has pretty decent answers to whatever Pack can throw out. Um, the only way I can really see this going south for Manip is if Pack manages to uh, keep hazards up somehow and um, get some Nike and get into a good position with Tarak, because um, Ban Tarak is always a pain in the ass. Or if Manip lets Hydreigon go down for some reason, um, Celebi goes in. So we're going to see the rocks come out again from Empoleon, uh, and we're likely going to see Tentacruel again. This could get a little bit samey. So. Here we go, um, Manip can spin here or he can scold predicting um, the Rotom, Pat can also go Celebi here, okay he goes Rotom and there's a knock, okay that knock is huge, um, yeah that's really bad for Pack. this Rotom's effectively on a timer um, and as soon as Manip gets rocks up, yeah this Rotom isn't living for very long. Um, oh he vaults, okay I'm not sure that I agree with staying in there. No, I don't agree with staying in there at all. Um, yeah, a Manip, a Manip stays into Scold. Okay, I feel like Florgus was free there. Um, he's not getting too much chip with... He's not getting too much chip. Um, and he didn't really threaten it out unless he had Tarak. And that, then, it's a, then, it, then it's predictions. But I, would not, I, wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have allowed him to chip Tenta there. So he gets the burn on Celebi, which is really nice. Um, that's going to be chipping away until it switches out. He probably goes Hydreigon here. Okay, he goes licks. Um, so I guess what he was trying to do there was predict the nasty plot and then bait out the um, ground DMZ by going into Hydreigon on the ground DMZ. Um, I guess that play kind of made sense. But um, licks also caught the Torak double, so that works too. So licks, um, licks can probably freely EQ here because Banded CC won't kill no matter if it's um, Max Spadef or if he's got some defense investment. Uh, he can either go for the safe EQ or he can throw the rocks up um, predicting Pack to want to switch out 
I don't I don't think Pack should stay in here. Um, Minip uh, Minip can EQ so freely, so I think Rotom's probably the play. Um, Minip if Minip can get up rocks, but it's a it's a big risk. Um, okay, now he goes into Rotom, and we see the we see the EQ. Okay, so Minip so Minip's playing safe. He has he has match up. Um, I totally agree with that to be honest. So we're probably going to see either Florgus or Hydreigon come out. The fact that he isn't going into Hydreigon on um, Rotom is kind of making me feel like it's, it's kind of making me doubt the um, make, making me doubt Roost Hydreigon. Uh, it could be Specs because to be fair, this team does like the initial breaking power because it's quite weak without um, quite weak without that. Oh, Minip stays in to get off a Toxic. Okay. Now this Rotom's really screwed. He has no way of uh, getting rid of that Toxic. No way of healing Rotom back up. There's no Ipapa. The leftovers are gone. Um, so that was a, that, that was a crazy play for a minute. Um, we're probably going to see an overheat here on Florgus. So Minip can try and predict a Vault and stay in and gap his rocks, but he shouldn't. He should go into he should go into Hydreigon or Florgus here. Um, so yeah, we'll see. They're thinking about oh, oh pack misses overheat that's so bad that's awful for pack but um manip gets the freest rocks of his life yeah that's that's terrible okay okay packs in the back so he has to make those plays he vaults on he votes on who vaults on Florgus here good play good play um we're probably gonna see maybe Tarak come out and click stone edge or he can go gligar and fog if he wants to get rid of them for rotom um, I'd, I'd probably feel okay going to rack and edging here because it kills Florgus from the ranges at. Okay, so he goes in Polion. Um, this means it's probably toxic because he doesn't, because otherwise he doesn't have a way of, of threatening Florgus and they can just wall each other forever. Um, he gets off a wish. Okay, he's probably just gonna stay in a Moonblast here. He can go, he can go um, Tenta if he wants, but okay, it's Tech. Okay, it's Tech over Synth. Okay, so it's Raw Empoleon, that makes sense. Um, so Celebi comes out. Pat can Pat can Roar again. If Minit wants to go for the um if Minit wants to go for the Ground Z he can, but he has to be wary of the fact that there's a Hydreigon in the back which walls hundred percent. So we're probably Minip can try and Minip can Giga if he wants if he wants to predict the um Hydreigon to come in, that's just really nice chip. That'll probably put it about seventy five percent after rocks. But he, he giggers trying to get chip on the Hydreigon, but Empoleon stays in, roars out, and Tenta comes in. So Tenta's going to get the freest spin of its life here. Uh, not really not really much of a reason to do anything else. I guess he could try and knock if he predicts the Empoleon to stay in, but staying in isn't a great play really for Pac. Um, Pac's threatened really hard by this. He's, he's pressured really hard by this um, by this tentacle. Uh, if Minip predicts right <laughs> he can actually offensively pressure Pac's team really well uh Gligar won't appreciate a scold or having its um having its violet knocked off Hydreigon could be potentially burnt and its scarf knocked off which well, actually doesn't really matter matter versus this team Cele Celebi doesn't really have a way to touch it anyway um but yeah it, it um but yeah Hydreigon being burnt would be really bad so Tenta Tenta can uh pressure Pac's team really well so Minip should definitely save um Tenta here. There's no reason to sack it off. He's probably going to click edge, so he can risk the um, he can risk the licks if he wants to. Um, oh, he stays in, and it di and it just dies. Okay, I I really do not agree with that play. Um, I was about to say Florgus takes any hit, so he can um, so he can go Florgus for free to scout um, and then double around. Yeah, I do not agree with that play at all because now in packs. Pack gets rocks up, they stay up, um, which is which is really bad for for Celebi because it's getting chipped down and chipped down, and that's uh, manipulative's win condition. So it's not it, it's not the end of the world because he still has Florgus, but Tenta, as I mentioned, pressured Pack really nicely, and I, I do not agree with that play at all. So he goes into um, he goes into Ape here, and he U-turns on the predicted Gligar. Uh, Rotom comes in. He can Minip can pretty safely go into either Celebi or Hydreigon here. Um, he would probably, if he wants to reveal what kind of Hydreigon it is, he can go Hydreigon, um, or he can go into Celebi and just click Psychic. Uh, Pack doesn't really have much of a reason to go Hydreigon unless he wants to um, keep the Rotom as a sack. 
So he goes into Hydreigon, uh, we're probably just going to see a Dark Pulse here, um, Pack wouldn't risk the, uh, Pack wouldn't risk the Tarak, um, especially as it can just come straight back in and claim one. Okay, so we see Life Orb, okay, alright, so the set's probably Roost, Torn, uh, Dark Pulse, Draco, um, just to help with the Storm matchup, uh, invalidating Blissey and keeping Blissey low is really helpful for, um, what I think is a nasty plot Z ground Celebi. Um, yeah, just helps helps a ton with the storm matchup. So Tarak comes in. If I'm Tarak, if I'm Pack, I'm clicking CC now 100%. Uh, Manip can go. Manip can go Florgus or he can go Celebi. I feel like I feel like CC is safe to be honest. Um, you don't lose too much by not going for it. Okay, he goes, he goes Celebi on a CC. Okay, alright, it takes 46. That's some good, that's some good damage. That reveals it's offensive Celebi. There's no HP investment there. Um, so, from pack, we're, we could well see the Hydreigon come out. Okay, okay, he goes into his Celebi. And Ape comes out. Alright, Ape gets the freest U-turn of his life. And pack goes Hard Gligar. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Minip goes um, Hydreigon now. Uh, we get to see now what kind of Gligar it is if he stays in. He can always um, wrist Tarak, but Tarak is in range, I believe, of um, Life of Draco, so that's not a great play. Oh, he stays in and it lives on six. That is okay. That is a, that is especially defensive Gligar that has at least some spit F investment because yeah, Hydreigon's Life of Draco is, is a very strong hit. Um, that's, that's interesting. Things just got a lot harder for Manip. So, okay, Florgus gets a little, gets a little bit of Lefty's recovery, um, as Gligar defogs. I didn't realise Florgus was so low. Maybe that's why he wasn't, um, wasn't scouting with it on Tarak, because it would have died to a, uh, would have died to an edge. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Um, people asking in the chat if Hydreigon has Roost, it's Life Orb, so almost certainly. Uh, non non roost life of Hydreigon isn't is not the best set. Um, we're probably going to see a protect here from Florgus um, from manipulative Florgus just because it allows him to scout with um, it allows him to scout with Tarak. Pack can Pack can probably just go hard and poly on here and lay him up. Uh, be nice to go with the rocks really. <laughs> um, yeah, Minip, Minip, Minip should stay in. He can either he can moonblast freely, not protect. He can moonblast, moonblast freely. It's nice chip on um, nice chip on everything. So okay, Gligar U turns. Okay, fair enough. So we see the Empoleon come out on a moonblast. Uh, Florbus is gonna heal back up to 100%, and we're gonna see the rocks come out. I believe from Pack. If he has Toxic, he can also go for that because um. Manip's likely either going to go hard into Celebi or Hydreigon or Wish Pass into Celebi and Hydreigon um, and Toxic covers both of those plays uh, so he can do that okay he gets he gets them up that's that's a fine play uh, so now we're playing games with um, now we're playing games with Dark Pulse and Draco oh he misses Draco which isn't really too bad to be honest uh, it, actually no he roared so it wasn't great it would have been nice chip it would have been sort of 30% chip on Empoleon which would have put it in range of two Dark Pulses I believe but he gets to go out into Inferno now and you turn out and we're probably going to see the Hydra can come in again um, and he can spam Dark Pulse risking I guess Pack could risk Tarak but it is definitely in range of uh, Life of Draco so it's a questionable play at best. Um, he could also he he can also go Celebi here, which could be smart to try and start wearing down wearing down Pax Hydreigon because it's still at hundred. He he can also go Licks, take the hit to get up rocks. Um, yeah, he can go into pretty much anything here to be honest. Everything has its merits. So we'll wait a little bit. Manip's, Manip's thinking. Okay, he goes licks to get out the rocks. Fine play, fine play. Uh, Gligar can pretty freely EQ for chip here. Um, you wouldn't really want to risk. You wouldn't want to risk anything else. It does 20. Pretty pathetic damage, to be honest. Um, and then Pack can either EQ or U-turn, depending on whether he thinks Florgus is going to come out. Florgus comes out. Did he U-turn? He defogged. Okay, okay. 
that's I think that's a fine play because um Pack has a much easier time getting the getting the rocks up than Manip does. Uh Lix is Lix is pressured quite well and it doesn't really come in on anything for free. Whereas um Manip is constantly pressured to go into Florgus, which just gives him purely on free rocks. So yeah no I so yeah no I agree I agree with there with um with fogging. Okay, so he goes um, he goes into Hydreigon now. This gives Empoleon a free Toxic, I think. Okay, he flinches, which isn't great for Pack at all. Um, 34%, so it's doing some decent damage. Uh, so we're probably going to see another one come out. Okay, he taunts, predicting the Toxic or the Raw. Okay, and he goes for Raw. Okay, that's a nice play from a nip. I like that. It's well played. Okay, so he um, depulses again. Pack not risking Terrakion. Uh, he's 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 playing it safe. I think he's trying to um, bait out the roost so he can get to reckon on a roost and claim one. Then um, he goes Celebi now on okay on a dark pulse. I'm not entirely sure why he made that play. Um, I don't know if he was trying to predict a double or if he was just sacking it off so he could get to reckon. Um I guess he felt it wasn't worth risking risking it on a Draco. Um, he didn't really gain a lot if. Minute Brewster, if Minute Brewster there, as he went Celebi, and there wasn't really a double that Celebi covered, so yeah, interesting play. Um, but I guess he just didn't want to risk Tarak on a Draco because Tarak Tarak puts in work. So what are we gonna see here? Um, we can see either a rock. Yeah, we can pack. Pack's just gonna click buttons here. Um, I think Florgus is high enough that he can scout, but he's going to be left really low if he, if he gets hit with an edge. Oh, he sacks Celebi. Um, yeah, do not agree. Pax, Pax hit all his edges so far. Um, yeah, I do not agree with sacking Celebi there whatsoever. Um, if, if you manage to chip down, if you manage to chip down the Hydreigon and, uh, wish it back up with Florgus, it, it just won. Uh, minute, uh, Celebi was Minip's win condition, so I, I don't really agree with that. Um, so Gligar comes in now, he can either defog or he can U-turn, um, I mentioned before why defog is a fine play, he, uh, Pat gets rocks up easily, Minip doesn't. Okay, so what do we see? We see a U-turn, okay, okay, so he's keeping up offensive pressure, um, he goes out into Empoleon, so we're probably, probably gonna see a Toxic here if he has it, um, I'm kinda kind of wondering whether he does because if I were him I would have clicked it by now <laughs> but um we're gonna see so we're probably either gonna see a raw or a toxic here um either way Empoleon keeps getting left he's recovering it's getting slowly healed up which is which is nice for Pack. um Pack's Pack's in a really good position now um I'm not I'm not really liking the way Minute's played this so far um I feel like sacking Tenta and sacking Celebi were both Neither, neither were great plays to be honest. Um, I feel like you had to risk, you had to risk playing some mind games. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what comes out now. Minips, Minips thinking he's taking his time. His time has gone quite low a couple of times. Okay, so we see a wish, we see a wish. Um, so, so, so far from this Florgus, we've seen wish teched and moonblast. So the last move is. Last last move is likely heal bell because he isn't forced to have defog because he has a tenta. Okay, um Manip stays in there. I felt like Hydreigon was quite free because there's no way he can avoid getting a toxic off because Pack's just gonna spam it. Um he's only giving he's only really giving Pack lefty's recovery. Although I guess he is I guess he's PP stalling Toxic a little if he has Heal Bell, which could come into play later, but Pack's gonna be a little bit wary of um, repeatedly clicking it. He roars, gets back in the Florgus. Okay, that's that's nice for Pack because he can because he can stay in forever now, and he's getting he's getting he's getting a lot more lefties recovery. Um, so he can either wish pass here or go hard into Hydreigon. Okay, yep, we see hard Hydreigon. Okay, and we see a toxic. Okay, so that's a nice play. Um, what are we likely to see here? Uh, we probably see a Scold come out from Empoleon. We see a raw, okay, as he roosts. Okay, yep, so it is revealed roost. Uh, Empoleon isn't teched. We've seen all four moves. Um, and we're probably just going to see a U-turn here on Gligar. I Minute mean, doesn't really have a reason to predict. Um, and Pack has no reason to stay in. He doesn't really get a lot from clicking Scold on on a 60% Hydreigon. But um, Minip stays in and tries to catch the choke from Pack, which is, yeah, he's in the back. Um, had Pack choked. 
um, I mean, it would have been in a good position, so I kind of understand that play. Um, we're just going to see a roost from Gligar, keeping it healthy so that it can take two flare blitzes from Infernape. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, and he can either he can either EQ to keep pressuring the Florgus, or he can most likely U-turn. Yep, we see a U-turn out into uh, Empoleon again. So we're just going to see Empoleon keep getting, uh, keeping the leftover recovery pack slowly healing it up, meaning it can uh, take take hits from Hydreigon better. Um, so yeah, we see the heal bell there. That's one heal bell down. Uh, Toxic comes out from Empoleon. Yep, continuing to pressure the Hydreigon, forcing it to roost. Um, this, if I were him, this would this would be the turn I would risk to rack, because he's almost forced to roost here. Almost, well, yeah, he he doesn't roost, he dark pulses, but okay. Um, in my mind, Tarak's definitely the play here, because Hydreigon either dies or you get in Tarak on a roost. Um, so, Pat can make that play pretty safely. He does, he does. Okay, that's good. Not taking many risks with his with his Tarak, so I appreciate how he's playing that. Um, we're most likely just going to see a CC here. Uh... Florgus is healthy, but it pressures um pressures the licks, and he does go hard licks. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. This this means that um Pat can pretty freely click rock moves. If he has rock slide, he has no reason to really click anything else now. Um, it's yeah, this is really tough for Manip. I don't really see a way out of this. Um, to be fair, Pat's played this really well. Um, there are a couple of plays that I disagree with from Manip, letting Celebi and tend to go down. But um, I feel like Pax kind of got this in the bag now. Uh, we see a U-turn uh, free as hell. Um, okay, it's at seventy percent, seventy percent. So it could have it could have taken two two CCs, I think. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, we're gonna see a wish and a pass into Hydreigon here, almost certainly. Pat can stay in and the U-turn. Go out into um, or hard switch into Empoleon just to get the rocks back up, just to continue annoying manipulative. Um, yeah, I don't feel like there's a lot that can go wrong really for Pack now. Yep, we do see a U-turn, so we're gonna see Empoleon come out, and the rocks go back up. So heal bell. So uh, Hydreigon is um, cured of its poison. Uh, he has six heal bells left, so Empoleon's slowly but surely stalling it out. Do we see the rocks or Toxic? We see a Toxic miss, um, which is mildly annoying. Um, could be significant in the long term in terms of in terms of the PP wars. Okay, uh, Pat goes Hydreigon there rather than Tarak, which is a fair play. And Minip stays in on the U-turn. Okay, okay, all right. Um, I don't really feel like he gains a lot from that. He can go Empoleon on a predicted on a Draco. Not sure why he Drake if he was predicting the um predicting the U turn because Empoleon was always the play there. But um so yeah, we're probably gonna see either a toxic or back back out into Hydreigon on the taunt. Yeah, well 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 play pack, okay, okay. And and he Dracos as Manip stays in. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, yeah, pack has this pack has this one wrapped and Manip says GG and that's it. So Pat continues his great run in UU team tours. He had a brilliant SBO. A uh, decent UUPL and he started Snake well. Um, Manip, on the other hand, kind of needs to turn it round. He uh, he has McMegan in his other game of the first phase, which will be really tough. Um, so best of luck to him there. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to drop a like, sub if you haven't already. I'll be back soon, I hope, with um, more UU Team Tour coverage.